Welcome to today's review of the True Potential Portfolios. My name is Chris Leyland and I'm the Deputy Chief Investment Officer here at True Potential. I'm going to spend the next few minutes talking about our flagship investment product that is the True Potential Portfolio range. Okay, so first let's start by discussing the performance of the portfolios. What we'll then do is we'll look at what are the key themes that we're seeing from our fund manager partners and finally discuss what changes have been made over the month. Okay, so looking at the month of October, the portfolios all produce positive returns, building on that excellent performance we've seen this year. Equity markets were the main drivers of return, with Asia and emerging markets reversing last month's poor performance. Looking over 2017, returns have been solid, with investors rewarded for taking extra risk. Moving on to the performance of the underlying funds that actually make up the portfolios, the True Potential Close Brothers fund range has performed well, with their ability to be more selective by picking stocks, working in markets where sector and stock returns have seen a lot of disparity. In reverse to what we saw last month, the True Potential Goldman Sachs Income Builder Fund showed positive returns last month, but relative to the true potential managers, the other managers we have, it's slightly underperformed. Their fully sterling hedge position has weighed on return. A sterling fell against the US dollar, a beneficiary for other managers who use hedging a little bit less. Looking at the key themes we're seeing when we speak to our manager partners, our managers have remained positive on the economic outlook. Now, and from an investment perspective, they're increasingly expressing concern about some areas of markets where valuations are seriously overextended relative to historic norms. They're not so pessimistic that they believe this will derail equities, but it does set the scene for volatility to rise at some point. Value versus growth as a style continues to be a topic our managers are focusing on. Throughout the period since the credit crisis, growth stocks have significantly outperformed value stocks. We note that some of our managers, previously very bullish on economic prospects, have started to have serious doubt about valuation levels for certain growth stocks. Many of our managers feel that growth has enjoyed such an incredible run, particularly the larger notable names in the technology sector, such that they cannot see how valuations can justifiably increase further. The flip side to this is that we still have managers favoring growth companies in a variety of industries, believing that the growth rally is not yet over for stocks on more reasonable valuations. Looking at the changes that we've made over the month, our baseline portfolios are unchanged, with the optimization factors continuing to be paramount in our decision making. Moving on to the plus portfolios, for Balance Plus, we've reduced the position in the True Potential 7IM Aggressive Fund and increased the position towards the True Potential UBS Aggressive Fund. This has brought the portfolio style-wise more into line with both Cautious Plus and Growth Plus. Over the year, the True Potential UBS Aggressive Fund has benefited from its currency exposure, and should sterling appreciate, UBS could well be better positioned. The income portfolios remain unchanged, again focusing on the optimization factors, particularly income where the True Potential Cautious Income Yield has slightly risen. As we move through the market cycle, the need for diversification becomes more prevalent. Here at True Potential, we offer our complete investment solution, that is the True Potential Portfolios. This offers a new, higher level of diversification to help you navigate through any uncertainty. Thank you very much for listening today, and I will speak to you next time. Thank you.